Good morning! I didn't record for the past three days because the weekend was really crazy and I was lazy. And then Monday, I never started the vlog and I just didn't want to start at a random time. So now that I have time to start a vlog, hey y'all, welcome to Tuesday. Tonight I actually was reading a bit. I've been struggling with the whole reading thing. I'm in the middle of like four books and none of them are interesting. So originally I was reading this literary fiction book that I put down because it's not Christmassy. Then I started a middle grade classic thinking that this would be quick and easy to get me out of my slump, but it's very boring. So then I started this YA book that's Christmassy themed and I thought it would get me out of the slump, but this is annoying, childish, and basic. And I don't know which to continue. So tonight I was just flipping through all of them and I stuck with this one. So I made it to page 144 and it's getting more interesting. I'm sure you've heard of this series. It's like a middle grade 19th century Wisconsin family that lives in the middle of nowhere and I thought it was gonna be like cute stories about the family and what they do there but it's honestly reads like an info guide on like how to survive the winter but this book's market audience is six-year-olds so what six-year-old is gonna need to know how to do all the stuff that she's very in detail describing how to do which I guess in that way makes it like an educational resource like here's how people lived back then but it makes the book come off as so dry I'm having less of an issue now than I was when I first started it so it's a little better but I still have maybe like a hundred pages and I kind of want it to be over but I'm still getting a good wintry vibes from it I think it's worth my time so I'm gonna continue reading it this book I read like the first 100 pages of this in one sitting and it's just so cheesy like I know it's gonna get two stars I don't even know if I want to finish it like it used to be fun and easy but now it's kind of difficult to pick up so I'm just gonna finish this little middle grade book see how it goes and then maybe finish the rest of this one and then we can move on to another wintry book like I want to read one day in December because it has December in the title and then I have a couple more wintry books that I can't find. I think I put them in my living room somewhere and they're buried. My cats are playing and acting really crazy. We're gonna wind down before bed with a nice wintry cozy read. Sorry I missed a couple days of vlogging but hopefully we'll make up to it today. Honestly tonight I was FaceTiming with Kristen and I was thinking of like all the things I had to do tomorrow because today was Monday so it was like a lazy day. I put off a couple of the things I was supposed to do and so I like rolled them over onto my to-do list for tomorrow which is today and I'm just thinking of all the things I have to do tomorrow like oh I have to send that email oh I have to send that email oh I have to edit that thing oh I have to add that to that spreadsheet and just like I never freak out about work the day before like it's always just a manageable thing for me where I just go into work and I'm like yeah what do I have to do today but for some reason tonight I was getting a little bit of anxiety like I have so much to do and I think it's also because tomorrow night I have to go to an event and so it's Here's all the stuff to do at the office, plus you gotta go somewhere after work. But this is my last week before I get a week off for the holidays. I know I just need to make it. <laughs> It'll be fine, and this is our crazy season in the industry I work in. I'll be fine, I just gotta stick with it. I just keep being like, oh, I'm gonna come home and do all this stuff. Then I come home and do this. I lay in my bed and I FaceTime my friends and I read and I feel like I talk about that in every stupid vlog. Y'all just need to start a drinking game. Every time I talk about needing to be productive and I'm not, just take a swig of your preferred beverage. Oh my god, Bonnie just texted me that she had a dream about me. I'm gonna read this out loud and react live to it. I just remembered last night I had a dream that Whitney didn't want to be friends with me anymore and she liked her other friends better and one of her Christmas presents I got her in real life showed up and she was just like, I don't even want this. Oh my god. I guess Bonnie subconsciously thinks that I'm not her friend, but Bonnie, I love you. You mean more to me than half my IRL friends. That's very relatable. I remember in college, I had dreams like that. I don't know, did I, have I talked about college and anxiety and friends and loneliness? That's a can of worms. <laughs> that was actually something I was thinking about earlier today. I know I keep going on and on and on. So I kid you not, I think today when I was driving home from work, I was listening to Christmas music on my drive home and I was like, this is a good Christmas. Cause for a while they've been shitty Christmases. <laughs> and I say that with like all good intention because I've still been with my family, I've still gotten 
presents. You know, I've had a roof over my head, I've had a meals, but there were difficulties and I was still struggling with the fact that my Christmases now are so different than what Christmas was like in my childhood and how I wish they could continue to be. But I was driving home listening to Christmas music and I was just like, oh my gosh, like this is a good Christmas. And then I just kind of had this moment of thankfulness. Like I could be so anxious right now and I could be so much worse off than I am. And I just had this moment of like, belated thankfulness like I'm actually doing well and this isn't a guarantee for every single year like maybe in a year or two years I won't have all my family or I'll relapse or something and it will be a difficult Christmas so I think I just had a moment where I was like I'm okay and that was really special I hope that everyone can feel at least maybe for a day that feeling that I had today because it's a blessing not everyone feels that way about the holidays maybe that was an unintentional flex. My vlogs have been so short lately. I feel like I just want to keep talking to the camera, but that's not a good use of either of our time. What time is it? It's like 11.30. I usually go to bed at 11. I'm sure if I just keep reading this, I'll eventually pass out. So I'm gonna continue reading. There's so many books on my bed right now. Hello. Good morning. This is my adult outfit today. I feel like a teacher. Nice oversized cardigan so I can stare off in the distance like my late husband just died. But I'm right on time today. I had a good breakfast. So far today's pretty good, even though barely anything has happened. I'm just getting a good vibe from it. It's gonna be fine. We'd love to see it. Hello, everybody. I got off work a little early because I had to drive to a partner location that I'm currently at. I don't know if this is gonna take 20 minutes or two hours. <laughs> I wasn't supposed to be here till four, so now I don't know what to do. I guess reading update, because I rarely talk about reading in these vlogs anymore. I got to page, oh God, there's crumbs all in my book. I got to page 150 of Little House on the Big Wood. I want to say Little House on the Prairie, which is, technically what it's called. Is that what it's called? Little House in the Big Woods? There's a different book called Little House on the Prairie. Not bad, not bad. Pray for me. I feel like I want to talk about what just happened, but I don't know how into detail I should go about it. I was basically in charge of like putting up signage at this location where we were doing an interview. And when I got there, I started putting up the sign and then people were like, oh, don't have the sign. So basically the reason why I was going there was for nothing. And this was after I realized I was there over an hour early. My boss had given me the wrong time. So I kind of just sat there like about to cry because I was like, the whole reason I came here was to put this sign here. And now y'all are saying I can't have the sign there. I'm in the far right lane and we're zooming and I feel like this lane's gonna end and I'm gonna have to merge really fast. So I'm kind of nervous. First time driving on this highway, not sure if the right lane ends, kind of nervous. It fucking does. Now I feel like an asshole. I didn't know. I'm sorry. 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 I didn't know. 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 I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Anyway, so after like almost crying at this event, like my boss is gonna be mad at me. I can't get our signage in. Like I'm here for no reason. I was just kicking myself because like I'm not assertive enough to be like, actually, can we please put up this poster because I want our company to be recognized. But like, how do you do that when it's not your event? Be like, hey, can I put my sign up in your location? I don't know how to be assertive yet. And I'm gonna watch this in five years and be like, you're a bad bitch. Why were you such a baby back then? Oh. Long story short, they ended up doing a separate interview where they used my sign that I brought. So it's not like we're not gonna get any recognition, but I just don't wanna be the person that's like not good enough. Oh shit, I almost just hit this car because I was looking at where I needed to go. <laughs> I legit don't even remember that laugh. That's just the grumbling I become when I'm anxious and driving. Okay, well, I don't know how to get home and there's traffic and I need to be able to play my music so I can hear my GPS. So I'm gonna go. Long story short, if you be freaking out about stuff, don't freak out about stuff because it'll be fine. Okay, good night. I'll see you when I'm at home. Let the record show. I left my camera in my car and I just walked all the way downstairs to go get it because I knew if I didn't, I'd stop vlogging until tomorrow. So, the dedication, you're welcome. I've never attempted cooking with raw chicken breast before. I am so brave. I have this recipe I want to try. What the heck? I don't have any of these seasonings. Garlic thyme sage. Oh my God. We are one step in. I just preheated the oven. I'm already calling my mom. Hello? I have questions. Okay. 
It says it needs all these seasonings I don't have. Do I just use what I have? You're gonna be okay without it. It's just gonna have a less herby taste, but you're still gonna be fine. Also, didn't you say I have to like pound the chicken thinner or something? Yes. Why? Because it cooks more evenly and quicker. Otherwise, you have the edges will be burning and the center will be really thick and fat and will be more likely to be raw. Okay, thank you. All right. Love you. Bye. Love you, bye. Phone a friend, complete. I just want to be a balsamic vinegar covered chicken breast in the mixing bowl of life. Step one, put the olive oil. That's about two tablespoons. There. Me, I've never done this before. Also me, adds random ingredients without measuring. Julian Solomita who? Can it please be known that balsamic vinegar is my favorite ingredient of all time? Like if there was a balsamic vinegar frappuccino at Starbucks, I'm the target audience. Okay, the only thing I don't have is sage. We're just gonna hope for the best. What is sage anyway? Does anyone know? Oh my God, who are they trying to keep this garlic from? Oof, she is pungent. Time to chop some thyme. One tablespoon fresh thyme chopped. I don't know which part of the thyme you use. Is it just the leaves? Hey Siri, come on. Calling mom. Hello. What part of fresh thyme do you chop? Oh, okay, so here's what you do. Take a sprig of thyme and then run your fingers down it the opposite way, so like you're like pulling, just pulling the leaves off. Same with rosemary? Rosemary, you do want to trim and using scissors is easiest. Just clump them off, clump a sprig in your hand and then take the scissors and just chop up. Okay, I'll try my best. You'll do good. Okay, bye. Bye. When Bay believes in you. So, I feel like we talk a lot about me in these vlogs. How are you? How was your day at work? Are your counters so low that you have to stoop to cook on them and then your back hurts? That's a real thing. Is this what you use to chop herbs? I don't know. The amount of work that goes into this for the final product, I already anticipate will not be worth it. Who does this? This is why they sell it dried. This is not relaxing. I'm not having fun. I also just have fingers resembling the Jolly Green Giant. So there's no way I can do this properly. Hey, my back already hurts. This is just another vlog with the word complain in the title. <laughs> Don't be nasty. That's nasty. Get off. Well, you're the one being nasty. That's definitely nasty, get off. Thank you. Who does this? If you enjoy this, please seek help. This is the most stressed I've been and I have a full-time job that I cried at today. You're being nasty, you better stop. Okay, we're gonna hope that's a tablespoon. Hey boo, what it do? I'm chopping thyme, how about you? <laughs> You're chopping thyme? Yeah, I'm trying to cook this chicken, it's not working. Kristen called me because she's having a bad night, so that makes two of us. One of us is annoyed chopping thyme, the other has worse problems than that. Anyway, continuing. One teaspoon salt. You gotta beat this chicken. Roll up your sleeves, don't be nasty. Take a chicken titty. Brrrr. Ew. Ew. I don't know how to trim chicken breasts. Are you supposed to? Look at me, beating my meat. Okay, that's that. Hello. I'm busy right now. You can't have this. Ew, 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 ew. Ew, what? What? Here's two. Oh, they're so nasty. I feel like that scene from Tangled where he's like, crying fans, who knew, right? Six and a half hours later. Okay, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I put chicken on a plate and we're gonna put it in the oven and see what happens. Oh my God, it's heavy. What? Enjoy your time. 30 minutes. So this is our final product. I forgot to get a knife. So this is gonna be interesting cutting this chicken. I made some of the leftover mushrooms I had because mushrooms are the best. I will fight you about it. And yay, I did something. And now the chicken. Oh, she juicy. Beep, beep. 
bippity bippity boo. <laughs> okay, let's try it. I almost died. Did y'all see that? I got one thing to say. The white jumped out. I didn't season it enough. So, that was my dinner experience. Hopefully I don't get salmonella. I'm not convinced I won't. Oh my god, that's so aesthetic. Bone apple to it. I'm just trying to sort through my mail and little mess is being needy. We're so noisy with our purrs. Can you go lay down and I'll come snuggle in a bit? So the good news is, my dental insurance came in. She's so happy she doesn't even care that I'm manhandling her and kissing her. No. <laughs> Ignore Rosie's butt, but I still have to put away my clothes. Today's a boring day because I've been putting off cleaning for a while and I know every time I turn on the camera I talk about cleaning, but if I do it, I'm not gonna have to talk about it. Okay, clearly Kat needs more attention than what I'm giving her, so I gotta go. I've barely made any progress cleaning. I'm just sitting at my desk going through my stuff. Ugh. I need to do this on a weekend, but every weekend I'm like, no, I wanna sit in bed. But I have this package sitting around, and it's one of those packages that's huge, but I can feel the thing inside is this big. What? I just put like 10 ornaments back on the tree that they batted down, so he's decided it's playtime again. But I'm gonna open this just so I can get rid of this bulky packaging. I'm gonna be honest, I know this is gonna sound redonkulous. When I say I wasn't expecting this many presents, I don't mean like, ha ha ha, more than one person sent me stuff. I mean like, literally every book I wanted on my wish list I received. <laughs> like, I think I have over 30 boxes of stuff. Like, I took my wish list down where I can. And quite honestly, at this point, I think it's gonna be uncomfortable filming an unboxing because it's all stuff that I got for free and I can't afford to buy every single person a gift in return. So I'm just kind of baffled. I don't think it's sunk in that like 50,000 people is 50,000 people. I think in my head I haven't really conflated the numbers to be like, hey, if you post your wish list link, a lot of people are gonna see it. I still think I'm like downplaying. I don't know. I'm making excuses for myself making questionable decisions, but that's gonna be a discussion for another day. Me having to get over my guilt to do a massive unboxing for all the presents I got. But today, what did I get? I know it's a manga because it's small. I just don't know which one. Aww, who's this from? I haven't seen this in person, it's so nice. That's my baby. Carly sent me this. She said, I love you and I know you love this book so I need to get it for you. Happy holidays and happy new year. Thank you, Carly, you're my baby. The book she got me is called I Hear the Sunspot by Yuki Famino. Like I said, it's a manga, so it's a graphic novel. It's about these two university students. One of them is like super loud, embarrasses himself all the time, doesn't really care what people think of him. Do you mind? And the other student is hard of hearing and he's very shy and doesn't want people to judge him or like pity him so he doesn't call attention to himself. So Tai Chi is the one who's really energetic and loud. And he takes on the task of writing notes for Kohei in exchange for Kohei bringing him food every day because he's from a poor family and so it's about their budding relationship. There's three volumes of this that I've read and they kind of all blended together because I read them so closely, but it is a really, really sweet story that sticks up for hard of hearing people and talks about the microaggressions that they experience and it's a really sweet relationship. So, thank you, Carly. Oh my gosh, my cats are going insane. If anything, I'm grateful that a lot of the books on my wish list are ones I've already read because I was utilizing my library this year. So at least I'm not bringing in like 50 books I haven't read. But today's just one of those days where there's not enough hours in the day for me to feel like I need to get stuff done. Like I think I have two more hours of cleaning I wanna get done. I still have so much to sort through. I still have to shower. I still have to edit this video and I only have an hour until I usually go to bed, so. I'm trying to think like where'd the time go, but I got home the time I usually do 
It just took me an absurd amount of time to cook dinner because I'm bad at cooking. <laughs> I got a couple letters in the mail, so I wrote responses to those people. They're both from Canada, so I actually need to go to the post office when they're open so I can get international stamps. But these people will be getting replies from me. Very festive additions. I have so many Christmas cards that I need to send out, so I made a list of all my friends who I want to send cards to. I need to creep on them and get their addresses. And that is going to take a long time. <laughs> you two are being so naughty. You're so nasty. What did you do? So yeah, that's the pile of packages I have. And those are just the ones I haven't wrapped. <laughs> so there's still all these spilling off my couch and like the dozen that I did wrap. So clearly you all have been extremely generous. And I do want to unbox them on camera so I can thank everyone individually, but I'm already sensing the vibe and the discussion that like you shouldn't have posted your wish list because you have so many followers. Which before I was like, eh, whatever, but now I get it. Like I'm grateful for all these books, but it just feels ridiculous to not have to do anything in exchange for them. And the cost of everything I've received is far more than I could have paid for it myself. This year was a learning experience. I've been listening to Christmas music as I do some of my cleaning, but I think I'm gonna actually put on a movie while I clean. I bought the Polar Express. On Sunday, my dad and I stopped by Half Price Books because I keep a box of books in my trunk and he was like, wanna go? I was praying they would have this. It is my favorite Christmas movie that I don't own. I think my sister took it with her when she moved to Massachusetts. I found this for $6. I was hollering all the way to the bank. So I think I'm gonna put this in. I have a DVD player and we're gonna, we're gonna enjoy it. I've been listening to the soundtrack pretty religiously, but I think the movie was just gonna take the cake. Goodbye, Narnia. I am sorry. Hello, Polar Express. Oh, yes. You excited? So, it's not playing, and now I don't know if I have a DVD only player. And I bought a Blu ray. Gordo, fix it. Rosie. Fix it, my little engineers. Well, apparently I don't have a Blu-ray player, so we're watching the most iconic Christmas movie of all time. I didn't take a before shot, so it's not that aesthetic, but I cleaned my counters and did my dishes. There's a bag of trash up there, and there's also some stuff I still haven't cleared off, so it looks like I did nothing. Yay! I cleaned up my living room a little bit. You can't even tell, I cleaned off my desk a lot. And that's still there, so. It's midnight, an hour past when I usually go to sleep. I still have to clean off my bed, take a shower, put stuff away. <laughs> I was getting ready to be like, oh, I'll stay up past my bedtime to read a little bit before I go to bed. Then I remembered at 8.30 tomorrow we have an interview for someone, so. I gotta be there right on time, bright and early, and looking fresh and fierce. So, guess that means I have to end off this vlog. I'm gonna go run and hop in the shower. Isn't my life so interesting? Earlier tonight, I bought a book for my friend Carrie on Kindle, so that is our Amazon book of the day. I feel greasy and sweaty, so I'm gonna go wash the day off and then relax. Hope you all enjoyed. Toodles.